Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will talk about slavery in Islam, but this time we will go a little bit in some details about it. There is a, you know, in Islam, the Muslims, uh, they they have uh, many ways of slaves, like to, to earn slaves or to get slaves. They can get slaves from capturing slaves in war or from buying slaves. Uh, like there is difference uh, hadith here we, we let us talk about it first and this is in the book of the effort kitab nikah muwatta malik it says and that actually this hadith here is going to show you the contradiction of this religion and the falsehood of the prophet of islam it is not halal to marry a christian or a jewish slave girl so what we understand from this Muslims, they own a lot of Christians and Jewish slave girls. The question is, how they get them? Simple. Either by uh, capturing them, as if they are animals. But remember, Islam is a religion of equality, and Islam is against slavery. Yeah, it is, really, right? Yeah. This is why they have a lot of slaves. Actually, in, the, in certain time in the city of Al-Busra, Basra, in, in, in Iraq and Al-Kufa, the population of black slaves, and I'm speaking specifically now about black slaves, became three to four times more than the white Arab men in that city, to the point the black slaves, they took over the city. You can go and search in the internet for something, it's called the revolution of the Zinj. Zinj mean in Arabic, uh, black, all right? In, in English, I think they call it uh, Negro. It's the same word, I think. So, uh, actually, let me see if I can find you the, 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 the English version of it. Here we go. Actually, I searched just uh, in, uh, like in two seconds in the internet, and I found uh, an article about it. Now, I don't guarantee how, uh, how accurate this article. I'm just to show you how you can search, uh, because I believe the number of slaves was more than 500 black slaves. Imagine, 500,000 black slaves at that time. At that time, one city has 500,000 black slaves. And that is in the city of Basra in Iraq. Now, uh, the Muslims capturing slaves, black specifically, they love black slaves. Why? Because black slaves are strong physically and they are coming from a tough land which means not only by by nature they are physically tough but they are let us say a, a raw human being who can be used and abused uh, with no limitation and he don't speak the language he is not an arab he have no way to run uh, his color is is easy to recognize he cannot hide and say i am a free man i'm a white man so there's many things that is attractive for those people to, to, to carry on uh, uh, slavery for the black. Like if I am a black person and I live in the city of Al-Basra, then how I can claim to be a free man? I'm a black. It's very hard for me to prove that. Just by, by having the color of a black person, it's mean I am a slave of somebody. But imagine the, how, how huge the number of slaves grow in, in, under Islam became so big cities the whole cities became almost like a few thousands of arab white men they are in control of slaves of hundreds of thousands to the point those slaves they reach the point they can't take it no more and actually if i was one of them i will go for revolution either i free, i die free or i i, I you know like i, I I die free or live free, it's the same. At least I will be free. I will not accept anyone to enslave me. I'm sharing with you this, just to show you, that when Muslims, they speak to you about Islam is about equality. Like, you know, if you go and search the internet for equality in Islam, you will see how much lies this religion promote in the internet. Like, you will see images like those. You see this image? A black man hand with the white man, Islam have no different, and they will say to you, in Islam there is no differentiation between a black and white. Hmm, is that true? 
That is for today. They will say that Muhammad, he said, there's no, black, there's no difference between uh, 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 any Muslim uh, except how much he is close to Allah by faith. Yet, Muhammad himself, he owned black slaves. And they are Muslims. And a great example is Bilal himself. Muhammad, he died and Bilal is still a slave for Muhammad. However, if Islam is religion of equality, what equality mean in Islam then? As long we are seeing hundreds of thousands of slaves in one city. We are not talking about the Islamic uh, uh, empire. We are talking about one city. It is the city of Al-Basra have more than 500,000 black slaves. Where is the equality in this religion? Is it equality to, to own those people? They are a human being. They are not goats. You know, someone might say to you, by the way, that what about the Western men who bought the slaves? The Western men who bought the slaves? Well, well, let me tell you something. None of us, none of us will defend the Western man be doing his filth and buying his slave. That is a shame of the Western man, but this is not the shame of Christianity because Jesus himself never owned a slave. Jesus never killed, never owned, never tortured, never raped, never, 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 never. So, in case you want to say, you want to claim that this is a Christianity, well, you have to show me when Jesus himself said to us, go and own slaves. When Jesus, he said to someone, in order to get your, uh, you know, uh, uh, your sin forgiven, you have to buy some slaves, so you increase the slavery business, and then you free him, so and come on. We don't have that. However, uh, if you do some uh, uh, search, you will find that the first revolutionary in the history of against slavery in Europe, it was by Christian ministers. Christian ministers, specifically Christian ministries and Christian men. Actually, if you go to investigateislam.com, uh, you will see uh, here some information about that, about some great names of those who did fought slavery. And you will see the reason that those people, they fought slavery, because they became Christians. The reason he want to do social reform, reform for uh, specifically against slavery, this person, with, with my respect to him, is a great man because he is a Christian faith. And then you will find another name here. This is a person, he himself, he fought slavery, he is a, is a, is a, a black African, you can go actually and you read more, more about this person here, we go to the source of the article, this is him. This person himself, he was captured by Muslims. You see it? He was captured by Muslims and sold to the white European men. So it's obvious that the one who was doing the biggest slavery business in the world, it was the Muslims. And simply think about it, North Africa, all of it is Muslims. And the African, they are in deep inside Africa. So you cannot get the African go to Europe unless they go through Libya, Morocco, uh, uh, Tunisia, uh, uh, Egypt, etc. So they are the one, the Muslims are the one who is in charge of slavery. And actually today they are doing the same. If you, if you, if you notice with me uh, about uh, the new slavery, which is human trafficking between uh, Africa and Europe, the, uh, the, the Muslims in Libya specifically, they are the one in control of this new kind of slavery. They, they ask you to bring all the money you can bring and then they control you for a few weeks or a few, a few months inside Libya to, to do labor for them in order your dream to go and be free one day in, 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 in Europe. And then after that, they go and take you and drop you in the, in the heart, in the, in the middle of the ocean, nowhere, and they, leave, they abandon the, sh the ship, which is not worth anything anyway because they made a lot of money from you. And they run away because they cannot face the, face the immigration. They will, they will capture them. So, and if you remember too, just to show you how filthy the Islamic religion is and the morality of Islamic religion. If you remember the story of 12 Ethiopian Christians, they've been thrown out of the boat because they are African black Christians. 
Look how filthy this religion is. The Muslims, they are coming to Europe with supposedly, according to them, it's a Christian land. But yet, they will not let few Christians to ride with them in the boat seeking asylum. But they are the one who is going, going to Europe kissing the shoes of the stupid European to give them asylum. And they give them asylum because this is a stupid nation. It's called Europe. Thank you very much. Because later, sooner, sooner or later, they will take over your countries. This is how stupid those Europeans are. And they throw those 12 Ethiopians in the heart of the, the middle of the ocean just because they are Christians. And Islam is a religion of equality. So there's all the proofs is all over about the business of slavery in Islam. Yet they were able with the deception to fool many stupid African American in America to convert to Islam. I'm not insulting the African American. I'm saying those who convert to Islam, they are stupid. African American, I have a lot of love for them. And actually, many of them, like this man, we are the ones showing his picture there. Great men who came from slavery to fight it. And he became a Christian minister, as you see here. All right? He is coming from Sierra Leone. And then he became a Christian. And he, took, you know, he did his baptism and then he became a very active person uh, in his Christian service. And he became slavery fighter, which means fighting against slavery. So what, what we notice when we talk about Islam, this faith religion, that it's a religion claim something and do something else. As you see in their, in their, uh, in, in their pictures they post in the internet, they claim that the, they are the one who treat people equally, but absolutely it's not true. And you remember, I, I mentioned to you before that even Muhammad, he said that a black person is the devil. And even you can search the hadith where it says a black dog is the devil. Like Muhammad, he could not imagine anyone is a Satan who is going to destroy the Kaaba, except someone who is an Ethiopian man, he is a black man who will destroy the Kaaba. The Prophet said, as if I were looking at him, a black person with thin legs blocking the stones of the Kaaba. And he's talking about the devil. Now, why Muhammad, he don't believe that the black, the devil is the white man? I'm not saying the devil is a white man. The question is why he is speaking about the color. So every Muslim now is waiting for a black devil. The devil must be black. You see, I'm not really against uh, 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 coloring ideas, but not when it's come to a human. You know what I mean? Like say a black and white. Uh, uh, black and white mean either you say it's black or you say it's white, but not because the black is bad and the white is, is, is the good one. Uh, somebody might draw an art of uh, uh, two people. One of them is black and one of them is the white. But you can switch and exchange who is the bad and who is the good between them. Not necessarily the white man is the good man. Actually, there's a lot of uh, 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 black men. They are wonderful, wonderful. And they did a lot of great things for history. Uh, and uh, like the one we just, we, we know, we, we, uh, we saw uh, his, uh, his profile. Uh, and there is white men. Who, they are the one who fought against slavery. Like who said, who said that the white man only is the one who enslaved him? Why we don't remember that there's thousands of Americans in the Civil War, they die against slavery and they are white men. So we have to be just and we have to remember the history very well so we can learn from it and then we can say slavery never again. And if you are a believer that slavery never again, then you should fight Islam because Islam is not a religion of slavery never again. Islam is a slavery forever. Uh, you notice here in this verse, actually we don't have more time left. Uh, maybe I need to make more videos about this topic. However, uh, I want people to remember, uh, like here, this is the hadith about the dog. All right? All a black dog and said it is the devil. All black dogs are devil. We have a few seconds left in the video. You will see here, they asked Muhammad, what is the difference between yellow dog and white dog and a black dog? He said, the black dog is the devil. This is how evil this prophet is, and this is how his view of the black people. God bless. Thank you very much. Share the video, please.